so I think the Lion Mandarin is very good. But every time you get locked down but as Abaddon, you can also just instantly pop your ulti to go in and save somebody else. You can like remove your own disable to save somebody else. And they just pick TV. Into left. Solid early game here. Solid early start for Vici, at least in the three lanes. But then we do see, of course, that mid. Somnus really starting to take over a little bit there. I'm gonna pop to Yang. Oh. Wants to get aggressive still. Both teams really hunting for that first blood. Oh. Vexen over a little too far forward. Now it's two. Vici gaming. That top lane, it was looking strong from the off, and it's just, just granted them that first blood onto X Nova. Bottom lane. See a quick play and response as they look to bully the support. DY, he's got backup. Or he's in town, and so is Paparazzi. They've got the setup stun. Paparazzi's beating into Chalice. Chalice is in trouble. F5 the also crit. gets taken down as Ori is able to chase him back over to his side of the map. They get both kills. Three. Now gonna come back out towards the creep wave. And as you can see already, FY's left the area. This is a, a hard catch to get. He's gonna step back over as his Vici game at the beginning to jump. Oh, looking for the Kunker, he's tanky, but is he actually tanky enough? He's taking so much damage here, Somnus. The boat's not going to be in in time. X Nova finally comes in with a stun, but now Vici Gaming, they've brought in more. PSG LGD have to back off. In some of these situations. We see also the two points in the mana drain. So we're probably going to see mana drain be pretty relevant in this game because he's playing versus the Wraith King. So he definitely can set up for some times to maybe even bring down Paparazzi without getting his whole pot. And then Somnus. He's gonna find Fade, oh, stepping forward, sets up for a sweet little kill there off the back of the Grins. Sure, I guess losing the tier two top sucks, but does it suck that much? I wonder which hero it also really likes on the side of Vici. I definitely, I know it likes Wraith King a lot. Does it like Abandon? It might like Abandon and Leshrac also a lot, so. Maybe it just likes Midas's. Maybe it just likes Midas's. It's bottom, Paparazzi. They're trying to bring him down, he has mana. They will just use the finger to pop the ulti. But it, it was a level two ulti, so it's only that two minutes. Two for two was there on the Bouncy range by the looks of it. They're actually setting up here. Won't be able to find Somnus up top. Yeah, continue the yeah, farm game. Four to one, 20 minutes. Oh, Oop. bit of action Hunt. down here. The snakes are out. Stampy's there for X Nova. They'll turn. And the snakes will be dropped for nothing. PSG <laughs> are able to turn. X Nova's able to get himself that Ooh. second stack on the finger buff this game. And Lane Paparazzi also gets his reincarnate popped. Just a quick reflection with that Radiance and burning him down on top of just a lift and a quick stun. Vici. They can be already, done on Arme. They're all, both pretty much done. Yeah. Somnus is 200 gold away from his as well. So Let's see how they can pass. Up. Arme, they're going to get the instant hex. Paparazzi is going to be able to get the jump forward. Can they take to save him down without the chance for BKB? But the BKB's out. Arme's fine. He's ready to turn and fight. Jump forward to Chalice. Get the two-man who stopped the metaphor. This is out the boat down. On to the three of them. They're taking out the Shaman. Chalice is focusing now. DY in the back. He's going to stop. Channeling okay. as a paparazzi's drive for Ame. Ame will fall. They get the big kill onto the Terra Blade. Can Vici Gaming get more? Sideline wraparound from X Nova. Catches out Ori on his attempt to escape. A chase for for Chalice. Chalice, he's out of spells to use. Hexed up by Fade. Paparazzi on top of him. The Aphrodic Shield explodes. They find a second. Still looking for more Vici Gaming. They know that this is their time to pounce. Shackles out from Fade. Puts his hands up as well. Paparazzi's in. They're on top of Somnus. He's tanky. Have they got enough control? Hex is out. Into the Ray Fire Blast. The shield's going to pop as well. Bringing him over. The BKB is delivered. He's ready to turn. Tidebringer here. Cuts down Fade on the back lines. The drag back control. Both back online. A big combo gets dropped down onto Paparazzi, but he's into the trees. Heals there from DY, and Paparazzi will be able to back off. Somnus. He does go for the Ace but his volume's not ready to drop. Yang. They want to find something. Yang's got the borrowed time ready. It's far up though. See the jump from Chalice. Trying to look for the back line is behind Yang. Now the ult comes out from Vladdon. They start to retreat. Somnus popping the BKB to commit for this fight. Stampede juice as well. Allowing PSG to surround themselves around the Abaddon. They'll get Yang. The rest of them already on the way out. X Nova singing finds the center. Some beautiful stun there from X Nova from the low ground as he'll be able to set up for a second catch. LGD continuing to just come out on top with these small little skirmishes. These little pokes they're able to use. Constant D-Wards and constant trying to control the map. Yes, they're smoked up. Let's jump. Chalice. He jumps Paparazzi. Stun gets removed by the Aphotic Shield. Paparazzi tries to look to turn. The post comes crashing down towards Vade. 
damage. Fage dragged back into his death. They'll now turn towards Yang. Yang still has the ult at the ready. X mark back without can support time. Pat Brands, he's in. But the chase shot comes through. Ori plus the BKB. He's trying to bring down X Nova. Finds one. But the Fever's already out. They pop the reincarnate. DY is Golem punching away at Somnus. But Somnus and Chalice, they're so tanky. Ame as well. BKB's out. They cannot kill these cores, BG Gaming, as they've got to try and get away. They can not escape. As Chalice's right click brings down DY, and these fights, even though the net worth's even, even though some of the. No matter available for Ame either. They're heading over. Ame's gonna scout it out with the illusion. He's got a full scout. He's ready to start a walk into the pit. They'll throw down the torrent combo. Can anyone get in there to go for the steal? Roshan still being focused by the Serpent Ward. It's up, people. It's slowing them all down. Chalice trying to step forward. He's going to have Stampy back up in a second. BKB's popped by Ori as he looks to push LGD away from the pit. Paparazzi he's getting brought down low. Roshan nearly turns to get him off. Roshan finally Take more. Ready to grab it. Ori's going to be able to secure the Aegis. Can they win a fight with the Aegis, though? That's the question. They've already killed off Ori the once. Chalice on the side, locked down by the Shackles. Will fall. Fiji finally able to get a core out of the lineup of LGD. They've lost the Aegis. They've lost the reincarnation. They're going to try and chase. X Nova's there. Arme is obviously the dream catch. They'll get the support. Will they get Arme's into the trees? TP out. Will be successful. That was a scary one there for PG. If they weren't able to get that, he just actually picked up there. He actually just gets silenced. His own illusion just keeps beating on him, and then he gets silenced for the majority of the fight. So having this extra tool to be able to remove that is going to be important for him. Trying to have a bit of a poke on Yang, see if they can bring it down the once. In fact, the wrap around now on the back. They've managed to get the jump on to Ori, but the turnaround comes through Fade. Has the shackles onto Chalice, separated from the rest of the team. X Nova offers up a stun, and that'll allow Chalice to get away with the stampede. BKB's out from Fiji Gaming, but Arve steps straight to the back with the metamorphosis, takes out Fade. They are buyback comes out from Fade. They want to try and turn this VG game, but with the borrowed time already used, Yang falls. The tier two is taken. The way they took the fight, they saw the Glimmer Cape come out from the Warlock. Ame just cuts into the tree lines there with the Kunkka. They kill GY. GY they has to drop a defensive rock on top of himself. Clearing out that vision around outside the pit. They've got high ground vision to keep tags of when VG does come outside. And Ame already starts to walk toward them. They see DY trying to D ward. They don't want him to. That's the one threat. That they want to get out of the fight. Make sure there's no bonds, make sure there's no golem. There'll be a buyback coming out for DY immediately as the fight will continue. Yang is the focus for now, starting to stand himself in between himself and Ori, making sure Ori can get out the ward to drop, but Exo is able to force himself out as the Serpent wards will pretty much do nothing at all. Exo right. able to turn with the stun on a pat Bratzi. BKB now pops Ori and Fade, making a move straight towards the, the squishier kills. They'll get X Nova. He also having buyback ready to turn straight back towards the fight. They'll get towards FY. They've killed the two supports. Right. Now can they get the cause? Are they? BKB's pop metamorphosis is out. This is where the difficulty gets stepped up for VG Gaming. Can they deal with this Terra Blade? Glimmer Cape buys DY some sort of safety. Yang turning towards them, looking to push them back. The Fatal Bond still upon the four of them. Torrent onto the two. PSG is starting to back up. This would be a huge kill if VG Gaming can find it. The Stone Control, it's there. The Shackles, they've found him. They'll take Arme down. VG Gaming finding the big bounty. An instant buyback, though, from Ame. He wants to keep bringing the fight to them. Even FY bought back and X Nova to try to join over there. How many buybacks total was this? Like, so be sure to, to try and contest it. They'll step in. Stuns out onto Chalice. They're surrounded. BKB's popped by Peremperazzi as he locks down. The bonus over. The Chalice has the Kukas Rama with the he stamping pop. It. He looks to try and chase down Ori. Ori's going to be the focus. He's going for DY. He keeps Ori safe. They turn. Stuns out. Chalice is getting control. And it's all enough on shield by him sometime, but it's not enough. Chalice falls. Buyback comes out. Same to be said by both Ori and Yang. As the two cores will fall on Vici Gaming, Paparazzi as well, dies to one. Ames on top of them, Paparazzi gets the blink out off the back of the reincarnate. The Sentry Warden walk in the vision today, that's the way they turn back in, Chalice in with a who's top, Torrent Combo, they've got the bat, Paparazzi dead without buyback available. X Nova's got the lockdown on the side to finish off Bane as well. As Vici Gaming, they took their chances, they tried for the Roshan. But they now will start to fall like flies as there's no buyback for Yang, no buyback for Paparazzi. PSG LGD know it's time to move straight towards the base. And GG, it's called. This one's over. That was some team fights coming out from LGD, just knowing how powerful they are and how they want to take the fights every single time. This Centaur seems so crucial to me. I know Samus had this amazing game on the Kunkka, just getting these content cleaves. His damage is going to be probably through the roof on the Kunkka.